Right, hello and welcome everybody. I just thought I wanted to post this up. Um, it looks like quite a few people think they've been bricking their consoles. Um, when in fact what's been happening is is that they've been flashing um, no FSM um, 4.88 uh, to a 4.89 system. So what actually happens, well on some systems it will just tell you to press start and select and put in a custom firmware above 4.89. Um, official firmware <laughs> is what it wants. And um, other systems like this give you a little bit more of a scary outcome. It will literally turn on, give you a green light of death for maybe 10 seconds and turn itself off and that looks suspiciously like it's been bricked. But the good news is for you guys that think that you've bricked your console, well, it doesn't look like you have. Um, so basically, I need to flat, I need to put some custom firmware on this console. It's got 4.89, um, and I've never been happy putting a no FSM 4.88 onto a 4.89. But I did use a dummy console, which is one that basically works, but only just. If that makes sense, I'd only really use it for parts anyway. And um, yeah. I basically got the turn on and off and you can recover it through recovery mode. So I'm pretty confident with it now. Um, the mirror site I believe is pretty much trusted in terms of it is a good replica of the original. So what we're going to do is first of all make sure I've got internet. Um, so mobile hotspot isn't on so it is now. And we will be looking at the console when it looks bricked as well. And then we'll be looking as to what we need to do with what appears to be a brick system. Uh, just by simply putting it into recovery mode. So, let's go to internet browser. So yeah, I am effectively risking a perfectly working console for the interest of education. And for everybody just to know what to do. But I've already done it. Like I say, and I'm fairly confident that it's going to be okay. Okay, so obviously I've got the web address. I'll put that in the description. You just pop that in there and press enter. Okay, so we've got the tick. I notice sometimes that's a green tick, sometimes it's not. Um, but yeah, in this case we get a green tick. We're going to go to Flash Memory Manager. Now I have tried flashing the 4.89 to it, and it doesn't like it. And it wants me to take massive risks by turning off strict mode and all sorts to try and get it on. I wasn't prepared to do it not even on my console that works which I could use for parts but you know I wasn't prepared to do that I wanted to see if by flashing a 4.88 um, no FSM patch will work on a 4.89 um, and it does but it's a bit scary but bear with and we'll we'll get through it <laughs> so we've got a low patch by HTTPS Tick. We're going to close it, and now we're going to apply loaded patch. You get the usual message that it could brick your console. It will look like it's going to be bricked after the restart, but bear with, and we'll get through it. Close. Exit the browser.
Hotel noch das ist. Ne? Right, so now let's have a look down here. We can see that it's turned itself off. I'm going to turn it on. Get no signal. And yeah, I couldn't think, oh, bloody hell. Excuse my French. I think, shit, um, <laughs> what's going on? And it just turns itself off. So, what you need to do is turn it on by holding it down. And then do it again until you hear the double beep. Now let's come up to the screen. Get your controller. And press the little button. Go to system update. And put in EvilNAT 4.89.2, which is what I put in, and press start and select. So it looks like the NoFSM 4.88 patch does work, but it doesn't let the, the system won't boot normally. You have to force it through safe mode. So the reason I'm, I'm showing you this is, do I recommend doing this? Not really, but people have already done it and they believe their system is bricked. So it isn't. You can basically recover it by going into safe mode and it's ready to take <laughs> the, uh, the custom firmware, basically. So make sure you've got the 4.89 um, EvilNAT custom firmware and um, once you've done that pop it on the usb stick and put it in if you get what we've shown you which is if the system just turns itself on and then after about 10 seconds turns itself off with nothing coming on the screen force it into recovery mode by basically holding down the power button until it turns itself off and then hold down the power button until you hear the beeps i think it's two or three beeps you will then be greeted with this page um, it asks you to put in 4.89 or above, put in EvilNAT 4.89. Um, I think the latest one is 4.89.2, which is what I put in, and let it update. And um, that's basically it. And we will see in a moment. We're going to do this all in real time. Um, so we're just going to come, look, we just go down to the console now. You can see my USB sticks flashing away. So we know it's loading. Um, the custom firmware to the system and yeah I can, there's a lot of people that oh I've done it it's broke my system no you've put on a no FSM 4.88 patch onto a 4.89 console um, it works you but it won't boot unless you put it into recovery mode now once it's loaded the custom firmware it will continue to boot normally and that's basically it. Yeah, you don't need to worry about anything else. Um, when you turn it off, it won't ask you to go back into recovery. It will just turn itself on and evil now will come up. And we'll show you all that as well. Um, I would actually say this is safer than the Russian site because the forever.me, um, I know the source that it's been taken from. So somebody basically put a dump of the 4.89 custom firmware um, BG tools online. Um, they're not taking your console IDs, nothing like that seems to be happening. What seems to be happening is that you are able to flash your console as long as it's on 4.88 and it does it normally. But if you are on 4.89, you can do it, but you're gonna have to force your system into a recovery safe mode. Um, and yeah, once you've done that, and yeah, it's all going to work absolutely fine. Just push the button. And we'll just make sure that we just show you all this in real time and you can see how it works. <clears throat> now I do know on other systems, I think it was on a slim, it will boot into that sort of screen. 
um, and you can just press start and select or what a lot of people prefer to do is just put it straight into the recovery mode and then press start and select. I don't think that makes a great deal of difference. The only other thing it will do here is it will ask us to confirm HDMI settings as well, which is something it wouldn't normally do if you did it normally through the menu system without having to go into safe mode or recovery mode. So, um, so yeah, if you're thinking of patching your system onto 4.89, from 4.89, should I say, <laughs> and you will have to put 4.89 or above onto it anyway from custom firmware, then this seems to be, although it's scary, probably one of the safer ways to do it. I certainly would recommend this over the Russian site. Um, yeah. So basically now it's loaded it to the system and now it's just installing. So what I'll do is I'll just pause the video for this bit until we get to the end and we'll reconvene. Oh, okay, so we are halfway through. I do remember it went quite quickly from here last time I did it. So I have just reconvened the video. Um, so yeah, the last time I did this, it went 50, somewhere in the 50s, I think, or in the 60s, and it went quite quickly after that. And I think you can see that it, it's not quite the resolution it would normally be. I think this would normally be slightly smaller, the writing. And I think that's one of the reasons it asks us to reset HDMI settings once this has been installed. But once it is, there you go, from 60 to 100% very quickly. But once it is installed, it does seem to be absolutely stable. We're now going for a soft boot. And there it is. So yeah, um, I'm just going to show you a couple of applications working. I know they work, I've already tried them on another system, so I want to be absolutely sure that when you install this, that everything's as it should be. So look, if you've bricked your console, you haven't. <laughs> if it does what I've shown you, you're on four, you've loaded a 4.88 NoFSM patch um, and you just simply need to go into recovery mode or what they call safe mode. Um, and then from there you can go straight into loading your custom firmware by telling it to load it, but it has to be 4.89 or above. All right. Um, or if you're thinking you're on 4.89 and you really do want custom firmware and you're not keen on going on the dodgy Russian site, well then, this is the other option. I've just done this on two consoles now, and it seems to be absolutely fine. So I've just refurbished this console, so out of interest, I do want to see how old it actually is. And I'll also be running PSE, PS3 Pro tools on it to see if they're being... Yeah, so 28 days, sorry, 78 days, but then it's been switched on a lot of times. There's 777 times it hasn't been uh, turned off properly, so it hasn't registered that. So if it's, if you were then to divide the 78 days into the amount of times turned on, you can already see that that's like 33% extra on there. It's, it's about a hundred. It's a hundred plus days that you've got on this base. About hundred and twenty days, I'd say. True. Um, so let's just go into set up and call this down. But yeah, I'm, this is what I would do anyway. Once I've got the console, I want to see the bottom end. 
The Naruto focus got a bit mad there. It still doesn't work. It. I'm putting it on 32 percent of power speed, which means I have to set it to 33, and then it will go to 32, 32 percent and 33 and above. Should it get hotter than 68 degrees? So let's install another package, um, Webman. Now these are the packages that everyone uses. So multi man, should I say? And we'll install that and run that. That seems to be running and installing absolutely fine. So yeah, applications work, everything's fine. Final test now is to turn it off and turn it back on to make sure we don't need to go in recovery mode. So we're just going to do that now. It's turned off. I'll even turn it off at the mains at the back. And now we'll just turn it back on. And as you can see, it's booted up no problem at all. So, if you think you've brought your console, uh, on one of these sites, the chances are you haven't. You've been on 4.89 and you've installed a 4.88 NoFSM patch. And if you want to go and install custom firmware on your system um, and you're on 4.89, this seems to be a, a good workaway around to do it. It is a bit scary. Your console will appear to be bricked, but it isn't. It'll um, and it'll run fine after that. So I hope that helps people out. And thanks for watching.